Hi Aquarius, this is your mid-month uh, for April 2021. Okay, I haven't started. So today we're looking into your chakras, see what chakra is in need of more attention. Okay, it could be blocked, it could be um, overused or anything like that. Okay, so ha let's have a look at what chakra uh, is in need of more attention for you. Heart chakra. Heart chakra. Okay. This is our center chakra. So for a lot of you, I feel this is starting to be like a, a sort of a universal thing okay there's so many that got the heart chakra as well heart chakra could also be related to you not accepting yourself for who you are okay not accepting the situation maybe there's some issues in your heart maybe there was a heartbreak or i'm feeling for a lot of you could come from childhood maybe a lack of love maybe a lack of um, feeling loved okay that generates this imbalance in your heart chakra okay so let's take here three cards we have presence we have presence oh we have compassion and that's beautiful and we have inspiration they are really helping me here today okay so we have from the third eye presence okay living in the present moment enjoying the things just connect with your moment now okay not thinking about what happened before or what's going to happen after but just just being here right now you know enjoy the things enjoy this present moment and we have compassion caring empathy acceptance gentleness so being gentle with yourself accept yourself for who you are i think i said all of this before okay and inspiration ideas spark conception impulse okay work on your heart chakra inspire yourself by the things that you really want to accomplish okay like feel when when you want to do something how does your heart feel it feels excited it feels tension it feels like you want to do it right now that impulse like let's do it right now okay or it's like no 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 i can't do this now okay so it's it's this um there's a big connection here between your heart chakra and your third eye chakra okay you could be getting some um a lot of ideas that could assist you with your heart chakra and maybe because you're in so much pain you're not listening to it but these are divine guided okay why am i saying this you have the number 22 on the heart chakra you have the number 44 as the presence okay <clears throat> and then you have 28 2 and 8 10 46 4 and 6 10 and this is all divinely guided there's definitely here something beautiful beautiful coming up for you okay now let's see what are the messages from your spirit guides okay we're taking three cards i love the way the cards are just jumping for you okay so the star is about the healing, okay? It's about self-love. It's about wishing upon a star. It's about um, a guiding star, okay? You're, you're, you're protected, okay? You're protected here, all right? So let's get two more cards here. The High Priestess and the Empress, okay? Let's clarify these cards, please. The Star, the High Priestess and the Empress. There's a little bit of overthinking here, or maybe you just um, you're just going within, okay? You're just closing yourself a little bit to the world, to the things around you with this high priestess here. 
But remember that you are divinely guided, as I mentioned before, okay? And with this star here as well. Believe that things can come better, okay? Don't stop believing in it. Okay, so with the star, we have the seven of swords, okay. With the high priestess, we have the two of wands. All right. And what else do we have here? Like the start with the seven of uh, swords, it could also be in relation to something that you've been working so hard, okay? You've been so hard on yourself. And, and it, it's time for you to just loose it up a little bit, okay? Because I'm just gonna take the last card here for the Empress. Okay, the three of wands, great. I like that. Um, you see the star here, okay? So she's all about seeing the things from a different perspective, okay? Seeing all about healing and everything will be just fine, okay? And he is like, he's worked so hard and he's, he's just tired, you know? He's like, he's doing all the work while all the other people are just there relaxing. He's like, I had enough of this, okay? It's just too much for me. I can't take it anymore. And it's like, this running away from something, whether this could be, I don't know, it could be a job, it could be a relationship, it could be a family situation, okay? It could be whatever it's going through your head, maybe even with this hard shock, what the situations are going through, you're like, I had enough of this, I'm tired of this, okay? And then it comes here, of course, this high priestess with this two of of ones here so it's like you're you're looking for some balance okay you're looking for some peace within there's so much inside you it, it, it even feels like you're holding something inside for some of you okay you're holding something inside and you just it's so hard for you to carry on like this so you you're making a choice here it's like this high priestess is asking you go back within okay and listen to yourself because your decision it's inside you all right then we have the empress and the three of wands this is all about prosperity abundance so the the empress here it's that um female energy okay just bear in mind i'm saying energy not gender energy okay so it's this soothing energy it's all about um connecting okay making decisions in a, in a in a positive way looking forward because look as well the three of ones here there's opportunities coming for you once you make up your mind that you are moving forward for the things that you really want okay when you decide to heal your heart when you decide to be more compassionate with yourself when you decide to live in the present moment when you decide to follow exactly what you are wanting to do things just going to open to you okay but again this is all about healing within okay because Gab gabriel here it's all about as well the communication okay and you're protected you are protected here with with your angel michael and this card all right things are definitely moving forward very well for you okay once you decide to make yourself a priority, okay? Make yourself a priority. Now let me just get a final message from the mermaids. Visions, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing out of body travel. Capricorn, for some of you, maybe a lot of you that are listening to this, Okay, you have the psychic abilities to listen, to feel, okay, to see images, to see the things. And we've we seen that here in this inspiration, okay, that you have ideas, you have things, you like in your connection in the present moment, okay? So pay attention to that, but even on your creativity, okay? If you're doing something creative, 
that is all part of your psychic abilities as well, showing you what is best for you, okay? What fills your heart, all right? Did I say Capricorn? I meant Aquarius. Okay, I just done Capricorn before. <laughs> um, so Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And uh, until next time, have a great day.